Alright guys, so even though I didn't finish kind of finish the truck, I went and bought this Mercedes. <laughs> and I just got back. And it's been running nice and everything. It's a flooded car. Which I looked and looked and there was nothing bad with it. AC works, everything works, the top works, and the paint is in mint condition. I don't know if you can see it. But let me turn the camera. Yeah, it's clean. Really nice. And smooth. Yeah, so there's no water damage at all like that I can see that. I mean, the only thing that I did have to replace though was the, I'm not gonna lie, the AC blower though. I did that already. I, I had actually bought the car uh, Uh, when did I buy it? Like a few weeks ago. I guess it just popped out. 46,000 miles and I've been driving it, you know, trying to figure out what's wrong with it. But the only thing I know is wrong with it is the speakers. They're like a little bit, um, they sound bad, but they still sound. But like I said, the only thing was wrong with it was a blower fan. And now, AC and everything works. Because the suspension works, all of this works perfectly fine. The top works perfectly fine. Like I said, the paint is great. And when I say great, it's better than that car, like, it's better than my Tesla. So it's crazy. Um, I guess I got a good deal on it. Like I said, nothing is wrong with it as of now. Knock on wood. Um, the engine looks great. The bottom of the car looks perfect. It looks like they had this car in the garage the whole time. No plastics are faded, nothing. And it's, it was as clean as you see it as of now. Obviously, I threw all that right there, but that's where the fan came in. I threw, I threw that cut there because that one did have some water damage. But since it sits kind of like in a cup, sits in a cup, the motor sits in a cup, I think what might have happened, it probably got rained on, water got went into the vents and landed in the motor, and it just sit there and it just destroyed the motor. But the rest of the car, like I said, everything works. Came with two keys. I mean, look at it. It's crazy. As you guys probably saw in the video, this is where you cut the plastic thing. I still got to clean it with some uh, methanol. I had some methanol at work, but look. Look how clean the paint is. Really clean. And it has ceramic pro coating on it. Really nice, really nice. Like I said, I've been driving it, but since I've been working on that truck too. See, I brought it over here. Make sure you see it. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't upload a video on this one. But like I said, there was nothing wrong with it. Like nothing major as of now. Like I said, keep on knocking on wood, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's clean. Like I said, everything works. The, the engine bay is clean. There's no rust. There's no signs of rust anywhere. Like I said, I think it probably got rained on, on the convertible top. Well, I mean, since it converts, you know, probably just got rain there. Um, this one, this one is clean title, obviously. I bought this for me, but um, I'm just waiting for for the buyer's uh, payment to, to clear. Because somebody already bought it, so I'm gonna be driving this. Somebody already bought this car. Um, it's a nice real car, I mean, it's a really nice car. I bought it with like 15,000 miles. It has 48 now. I mean, I charge it on work and everything, it runs great. It has full self-driving. And actually, this car's been sitting here for like about, probably two, three weeks already. I'm gonna say two or three weeks, yeah, because I haven't driven it, because you know, they already send the payment supposedly, so I'm just waiting on that. 
to clear so they can come pick it up. And then, like I said, this was supposed to be the next project from the truck, but it was really dusty. I should have taken a picture of it, like super dusty. And um, and then I just washed it. And the paint is just, like I said, it's perfect. But then the other thing is, one of my problems was with the landscaping guys uh, at work. They went one day and they dusted the heck out of the car because they always do that. All of my cars, they all get dusted. And um, so there was dust and I had to go through the drive-thru and I scratched the heck out of one window, not this one, but the one on the drive-thru. Oh, by the way, freaking car has brand new tires. You can't even tell it. It's brand new tires. Um, it scratched the heck out of the window. You can hear it. You can hear it? Yeah, just because they dusted everything horribly. They always do it, and they never go over it with the leaf blower, so it kind of sucks. And then, like I said, the windshield was perfect, but now there's a little bit of, you know, marks from the little debris that was on there, but I kind of sprayed it before, but still kind of got it a little bit. And that sucks, because this, this car was meant, because whoever had this car, I don't know who it was. If you're watching this video, I mean, you had a little um, Apple tag, missing in there and my phone told me about it i was like you know what <laughs> let me find it and i found it and everything but you know i could never get with the owner and I, it'd be nice to hear the story to be honest like i said i mean the car is nice it runs great as of now uh, that's why i haven't even made any videos on it but it, i'm gonna have videos coming up on this one i'm gonna replace the speakers on the doors and everything because like i said those are those it's, it sounds like they got damaged. Like I said, I don't know what happened to the car. So if it got, I think it got rained on because even the massaging seats, they don't work because these this seats give you massages and stuff like that, and they don't work. Um, you can hear them trying to work. So maybe, maybe there's some corrosion there, but I looked at the cables on the bottom and nothing. So I probably had to pull them out. But I mean, heck, it's, it's a nice car. Um, really nice. You can see how clean the window is, you see? All of the windows are like that. No watermark, no nothing. But like I said, somebody over there at work decided to ruin it for me. They always do. They always do. And hopefully we see that thing gone so I can go ahead and move on to another project. But like I said, I brought the truck over here. I'm gonna update you guys on it. I already put the little this on it. it. Needs a little bit of tweaking. Um, the headlight. I'm trying to get it for a good price, and that guy just doesn't budge. They want like 300 for it. And I don't want to pay that much, but it has all of this red parts that I want. And then I'm gonna order a new balance because. The other one was kind of bent a little bit. And that's it. And I mean, I fixed one of the tires because I fixed, fixed the one on the passenger side, but the one on the rear back there is just, it wasn't working. It gets flat. Then I have this one here. There's nothing wrong with this one at all. It's a Q60, you can't really see it. Um, that one I bought too. Yes, I'm gonna say on impulse, but there was nothing but some trunk damage and I just pulled it and it looks really good. I mean, I don't always have, I ne never have salvage cars. Um, these are just, I just got three now, I think. Yeah, this one, the truck and the Infinity. And I mean, they come out okay. The Infinity runs and drives perfectly fine. But uh, as of now, it's on my projects. I'm gonna try to finish the truck I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm just waiting on some parts. Um, like I said, the front balance, I'm gonna buy it new. Even though it's like $200, just the, just the black plastic part, because then it, it, takes some, it takes some chrome, a little chrome section in the front. And that thing is $200, $207, and I'm talking about eBay prices. 
and just the chrome part is another 60 so it's like 260 plus the light that's another 300 be like another 500 dollars i'm not in it that much but you know normally i will sell the truck you know damage that way the person that wants it can can fix it and stuff like that and i just wanted to do videos for you guys um and like this video right here later on this one more updates on this one i mean you can find some good deals in Copern, like really good deals if i'm gonna put this on my lift i have a lift that i have a shop so i'm gonna put it on the lift and i'm gonna show you guys how clean it is and i'm gonna find out how clean it really is i mean i looked at the bottom and it looks perfect the suspension works there's no corrosion anywhere in any of the bolts yes you're normal on the calipers on the rear but I mean it's clean and if it you know if everything is clean and it keeps running as it does it's a great deal I got it for a great deal so um but as of now in that truck over there yeah you can't really see it that much uh I bought it in total for like ten thousand eight hundred and I'm like twenty three hundred dollars in it so it's gonna like once it's done, it's gonna be like 13 or so, 13 or 14,000. So, and it has 175,000 miles. And like I told you guys, it seemed like one of the valve seals might have been bad, but I don't know. That oil on it was really old, so I don't know. And we'll, but we'll find out. And if one of the valve seals is bad, I know how to work on those engines like a lot. So I'll make another video on how to do it. Obviously, I don't have the best uh, tools. I have a little mess here, but in the shop, I have some more tools, but whenever I did a valve seal on one of the cars before, I used this one to compress the spring. And it worked perfectly to do it there without taking that, many, that much stuff apart. So I'm gonna do that if it continues to smoke. It smokes a little bit if you live for like two weeks or one night. We'll see, we'll figure it out once we get to it. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update and this, like I said, another project right here. That one is gonna be gone. These are nice real car. These are really nice cars, but just for commuting. Like long trips, they're good too, but you know, you wanna stop, pump, and go. If you're one of those guys, you don't want it. Um, but I mean, other than that, let me the camera. yeah, other than that, I mean, that's it. That's the update. That's why I haven't uploaded anything on it. And editing videos is crazy. Um, I mean, hell, I barely got like, what, 15 followers? <laughs> 15 subscribers or whatever. I think that's it, yeah. I mean, but well, you know, I'm gonna keep on uploading and stuff and, um, and let you guys in into the co-car world where I started, I started uh, not long ago either, but it's crazy. I mean, you can get some good deals, like I said, and. Um, Maybe something like this. I'm gonna keep looking for flooded cars. I'm gonna keep looking at them, but this time I'm gonna go see them. Like this one just popped up when I was bidding on, um, I don't remember what I was supposed to bid, like a little truck for my uncle or something like that. And this one popped up and I was like, you know what? Let me just bid on it. And I kept on bidding on it. And I got in between somebody in North Carolina and we were back and forth and all of a sudden, you know, I ended up with it, but he missed out on a good deal. If you see this video, you missed out on a good deal, man. This is a nice car. But um, yeah, I will update you guys sooner or later um, about that truck. I'm just trying to, you know, get the price down on that headlight, and I've been talking to the guy, but uh, he don't want to comply. Oh, the light went off on this garage. Uh, he don't want to comply, so you know. We'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it right. But yeah, be talking to, I'll be talking to you guys later. My 15 subscribers. It's all about time, man, it's all about time. All of a sudden, we have more subscribers. And I've been buying cars like crazy, like back and forth, and I keep on looking at people on YouTube, and they're like, oh yeah, this video, this video, that. And like, if you guys have any questions, 
anything about this car. I know everything about it. I'm a car guy, big time, big time. So anything about this, anything about LSs, anything about that little Panstar 3.6 engine, don't buy that. That thing has a bad cam and bad heads. But if you have one, I can tell you how to fix it. All that, I just never took videos. Um, but yeah, guys, I really appreciate whoever is following me or, you know, subscribe. And um, it'd be nice to get more subscribers. You know, because I mean, I, I'm still going to keep doing this anyway, but, you know, I'll let you guys, I'll keep you guys updated on this one. I'm going to get window tent, speakers, and probably some wheels. Cause it's a nice car, so I'm just gonna fix it up and keep it for a while. The wheels are nice, but you know, you gotta modify it. If you're a car guy, you know you gotta modify it. Like this one, I just got window tint on it and it looks really nice with those wheels. Those are like the best wheels you can have on those cars. And it looks sick. Like I always liked it. I mean, I still like it, but like I said, somebody already sent the payment sign, just waiting for it. Let me see if I can open it. Oh, I did. It's really nice, really, really nice. Look at it. And it's clean too, man. I mean, like, nobody writes about me and my kid, you know? And I keep it washed, cleaned up, you know, ready, ready to go out. But like I said, a lot of people um, don't like them because of the range, but it's not that bad once you're driving for a while. And if you have a if you have a 240 charger, I don't know if it's a 240, I don't remember what they call it exactly, but the, the one that goes connected to the, yeah, it's a 240. Uh, dude, it only takes what, like a few hours to charge. So, I mean, it's not that bad. I have the home charger right here somewhere. Yeah, it's probably hanging down there. Which that's gonna go with the car, obviously, but, but yeah. I'll keep you guys updated on the truck out there. And it's kind of hard working five to five and getting stuff done, man. It's hard, uh, but I like it. I've been doing it for years. My buddies, they've been working on their cars. I mean, but they don't do none of this stuff, extra stuff. So they be working on old Chevys and that's where I got my Chevy trucks from. So, you know, um, I just like them. And I like the engine. You can't go enough. You can't go wrong with another ass. And I had Corvettes and everything. And I think I posted a video of, my, of that Corvette. That Corvette is long gone. Somebody bought it. They got a good deal on it. And I'm ready to get that truck done. And hopefully I can get my money back at least. <laughs> and honestly, call it for fun. You know, it's 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 nice to work on cars. I like it. Look at this. This thing is mint. All right, guys, I'll keep you guys updated. And um, and we'll see what happens, you know, in the next videos. Yeah, I was wearing a hat. And this is me, live, reporting from my garage with these little toys. See you on the next video, hopefully.